Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. Uh, now, um, a few things actually right now I want to show you exactly one of the demonstrations, actually one of the surfaces that I painted downstairs uh, with the new uh, two um, system uh, apply uh, now that the screens can do, which means now we can sell it in a chemical form because it no longer needs the requirement of a 26 step process, which only we could do. Uh, now we've gotten the chemical broken down into two parts, which will allow you to be able to use it in a two step process, which means now we can actually sell it off as screen paint. Now, for those of you who keep um, emailing me about, hey, uh, test it against the white wall. This is not a new chemical. We have done so many tests on this particular chemical, it's not even funny. And the thing is about it, if you go back and look at the older videos, you will see that we have tested it on white surfaces. We have tested it against uh, high-end screens, like elite screens and, uh, and so forth. So, you know, we have done all these tests already. You know, the only thing that's changed about the chemical is the fact that instead of it taking a 26 step process to be, to be able to complete, it will only take two steps to complete the process. That's it. Nothing is different about it. Nothing has changed. Only the requirements of actually applying the application to a surface. You can coat this on pretty much any surface you choose. Now, at the bottom of the video, I will leave a very detailed description of what the paint can do. All right? And I really need you to go down there. For those of you who want to educate you, edu educate yourself on this particular product, I really need you to go down there and read through that so you can understand exactly the capabilities of what the, um, the new, uh, uh, not the new, but the new, uh, what the, what the um, Crystal H uh, screens can do. All right? And like I said, there's nothing new about the chemical. Nothing has changed. Nothing has been altered. As I said a lot in my video demonstration, it's not the surface that makes our screens. It's the chemical. Whatever the chemical applies to, it turns it into like an LED TV. So with that being said, um, instead of it taking the 26 step process, which it took us to complete the screen, they just basically divided the um, different uh, multiple um, chemicals into two different departments to make it a two, two system easy application. Now, when I mean by two system, it's very, very easy. Uh, the step one, you would just have to apply the Crystal H chemical itself uh, to the surface, which means you can, can prime the surface if you want. It's up to you if you want to prime it, but um, if the surface has a bit of a slick coating to it, uh, like plastic or, um, or if you're using um, uh, glass, you, um, you want to paint over that, you will want have, you would want to have to prime over that, okay, because you want the chemical to stick to it. But just to add, now it's only a two system, it only requires for you to take step one and just coat the surface one the first time, the second time, let that dry, and then basically you take the finisher, which is basically the protector, and you just coat that over top of the screen once, twice, done. That's it. That is it. So, to show you how easy this is, pretty much any surface, I am using a United States Postal Shipping Box. Now, I would not suggest using cardboard because what happens is when you paint cardboard on any, with any form of paint or anything you use, cardboard has a habit, habit of actually getting ripples in the surface and it bends, all right? But this is a cardboard box that I painted to show you exactly how easy it is to basically use the two-step system. You have the ability, now think about this, think about this good and hard. You have the ability now to paint a high-tech screen, which will take you less than 30 minutes to apply. It comes with actually the two quarts, um, the two quarts and the one gallons will come with a free paint sprayer. You can't apply this with a foam roller, but it would have to be, you have to be very light on the hand. Don't press heavy because you'll leave streaks very light on the hand. If you're doing this for a canvas, um, a material, any kind of material that's going to soak the more of the product in, I would not suggest using this with a, in any form of roller whatsoever. Use it with a paint sprayer. Just give you a bit of a heads up on that. But like I said, very, very easy. Now, I wish I could put my overhead light on, which I will be doing the next demonstrations with the overhead light on. Unfortunately, that light blew out. And now I'll have to, because all these lights are actually on 
on one switch. So if I come over here, because I want to prove this because I'll have trolls come in here and say, well, no, you just removed the lamp, no, the light. Well, yeah, they're all on one switch and um, that one unfortunately blew out. So I have to climb up there, get my step ladder, come up there and change that out. But the next couple of demonstrations, you will be able to see me um, do this in a fully lit room with a lot more light. Now, also too, I want to add real quick, I will be doing a paint demonstration. I'm collecting some surfaces downstairs. I have a piece of wood downstairs right now. I have plexiglass, I have plastic, um, I have glass and I have plastic and I'm gonna be picking up a couple, a couple other surfaces and I'm gonna actually coat them all in one hit and I'm going to actually take my projector downstairs and you do it on the long throw, short throw so you guys can see because We've done these tests, like all, all, we've done these tests before. I think the only test we, not test, we've done these demonstrations before. The only demonstration I haven't done was the demonstration of showing you how to apply the surface. But like I said, with it taking a 26 step process, I don't think a lot of people would want to actually sit there and watch that. And on top of that, like I said, I can't put something on the market that's going to require for my customers to do a 26, pro 26 step process. Maybe some of you guys can do it, but a lot of other people can't. So we have to think of everybody when we're doing this. So with an easy two step process, we'll be able to actually sell this in a paint form and it'll be a lot easier for everybody to basically be able to have a crystal edge technology screen in their home. Heck, if you want, you could paint this on your wall, which is even fantastic because you know you're gonna have, some of you guys are gonna have flat walls. Not everybody has flat walls, but I don't have flat uh, walls. My walls have a little imperfection in them, but if you choose you wanna paint this on your wall, you can. All right, so over here we have the shipping box, the USB shipping box. Just to give you an idea how easy it is to actually coat this on pretty much any surface. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna remove what's blocking the projector so you can see for yourself. Now there is my shipping box right there, my shipping box projection screen. Look at that right there, all right. There's my giant Crystal Edge technology screen. And let's get this started. I don't think there's any sound with this. It might be a little bit of sound. No, no, no. Turned up the sound bar last night. I was watching a movie. Close Encounter of the Third Kind. Classic. My wife hasn't seen a lot of the classic movies, so, you know, I introduced her to some of the, the cult classics like 16 Candles and so forth. So let's add a little. Here we go. You guys can see this for yourself now. There is the angle on our box. And then we'll go over to the front. Let's look at that front view. There is my box right there. Very easy to apply the chemical. You know, like I said, it can be applied to pretty much any surface. And um, as for when people saying, well, how does it compare to a white wall? We have done these tests over and over again. When we're doing it with the surface, it's the exact same chemical, nothing has changed. Uh, the only difference is the fact that it will not take a 26 step process in order to do it. So we got light coming from the kitchen, cascading on the screen. I wish I had the overhead light on, which I'm gonna change that today. But right, look at the shipping box. The shipping box is incredible. And I was kind of curious, you know, if you take a bunch of these shipping boxes and say if you glue them to a surface and you coat them, it would kind of give it kind of like a 3D pop out effect from the wall. You know, if you're just using this for art exhibits or something like that, that would be pretty cool. You know, I gotta do one of these one day. I'm gonna do a small one with little tiny boxes all over it. And each one a little higher than the next and just give it a kind of like 3D kind of punch out display. That'd be pretty cool. When I mean, and also too, just to add, when I mean that you can pretty much paint anything, look, literally you can get a car door and paint the side of it with this chemical and this is the reaction you're gonna get. Let's go over here. Let's hit the angle gain on this box. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't make a difference. A lot of people basically explain to me that, hey, look, I got a short throw projector. And the problem with my short throw, short throw projector is the fact that it will get black around the edges when it comes to the screen. And um, that becomes a problem because a lot of these screens are plagued where they don't work with short throw too well. They really don't. It's no point. And spending all that money on a screen that you can't view on an angle. But just think now, you have a screen now. Oh, let's show this right here. This is beautiful. I got to figure out how to show some of this. This is beautiful. Look at that. That coral reef. There you are. This is on a post office shipping box. 
this is how easy it is to do. Now once I show you the demonstration, the instruction video on how to paint the screen, it is going to blow your mind on how easy it is. Now how easy it is now since we actually changed the step process in doing this screen. Now so that you're going out and spending $3,000, $5,000 for these high end screens, now you have it in a liquid form that you can actually now paint a screen that we better than what's on the market will cost you cheaper even at four hundred and sixty eight dollars a quart instead of the fact that you have the ability to paint your ultimate screen on your wall or surface or anything you choose and it won't cost you three thousand dollars it won't cost you five thousand dollars and you could view it on an angle I can kiss the screen look at, I am touching my screen right now look at that top to bottom short throw projector projector no problem now, just to add real quick, as for the three color option, I'll say this again, the three color option is still available, which means when you pick out your court, um, and you pick out your court, sorry about that, you will have the option of having it in ultralight silver, you'll have the option of ultralight silver 3D, uh, dark silver, or you'll have it in ultra 4K black. That is a free color option. And since the screens are all encoded with the smart technology gain, you won't pay more because one screen has a higher gain than the other. Tell me that is not freaking cool right there. It just looks like it's just popping out on, on the, on the uh, cardboard box. And this is cardboard. This is my cardboard box right here. Look at this. And look how beautiful that screen looks on a piece of cardboard. Now this will give you the idea that this will give you the ability to think outside the box, which is funny because it's a box and we're thinking outside the box. It's funny on that, but yeah, look at that. If you want to go out and you want to spend $3,000, $5,000 for a projection screen, you're going to pay more because the screen has a higher gain than the other. You're going to pay more for the ratio size. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the, the, uh, one quart can paint up to 100 inch 235.1. All right, two quarts will paint up to 120, sorry, one quart will paint up to 100 inch, I don't know if I said that right the first time, will paint up to 100 inch, uh, up to a 235.1. Two quarts will paint up to 120 inch to 150 inch. Now you remember when we did the blackout cloth, the 120 inch was $643 and 150 inch was $754. Now with the chemical, you can paint two screens you can paint up to a hundred you have a choice between 120 or 150 50 inch screens or 150 inch screen 154 but 150 inch screen at 235.1 235.1 and this will cost you 643 dollars so you're kind of like getting two screens for the price of this of the screen of the 120. now a gallon will paint up to 180 inch screen all the way up to 260 inch 60 inches sorry about that it will actually we are talking about bringing it out in five gallon containers for commercial use so if you want to use this for commercial use you can do so also now just to add real quick not all the screens will be available in chemical form the quantum light fusion rear projection screens will still be painted coated in the blackout cloth so we can still coat that uh, that that particular chemical is different it's not like um, it's not like all the other uh, chemicals it's a little different so that one still will be applied to our screens look at that tell me that's not freaking incredible this box so just to clear some things up really quick so you guys can check that out now mind you if I can do this on a cardboard box just think what you can do on your wall or any kind of surface you choose this is how easy it is now, those of you that are looking to get contracts, because I had quite a few emails about people saying, hey, we want to be distributed for you. It's very easy. We have this contract. Just read through it. Um, and if you like it, you know, we can do business, okay? So just to add, we do offer distributorship contracts if you're interested uh, in selling our, uh, our new uh, chemical form of the Crystal Age technology screen. And a lot of people are thinking like, oh, is this a new chemical? Is this new? No, no, no. Same chemical. Nothing has changed. It's the same patent chemical. Nothing has changed about it. The only thing is the step process, instead of taking 26, only needs two. They were able to break the chemical in two different departments, which allows us to be able to design a two-part system. Very easy to do, and this makes it easier for our customers 
to design their own screen. Now, can you imagine if you went out and you bought, actually, if you had a, well, I would, like I said, I wouldn't do this on a large sheet of cardboard because cardboard will ripple and bend, but this is, uh, just imagine you could coat anything you want with this. Now, for those of you who have pre-existing screens, if you have a pre-existing projection screen, yes, you can coat over your pre-existing screen with this chemical. And it will not crack or peel when you're rolling your screen up and down. It will not crack or peel. That's what the final finish, the protective coating is. It's to basically protect the screen from cracking and peeling. Look at that. Okay guys, well I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. I hope you enjoyed my cardboard projection screen. I will be doing a video demonstration uh, showing you guys how easy it is to apply the screen. Also too, showing you a little bit more about the free paint sprayer that will be coming with the two quart and one gallon kit. The paint sprayers are very easy to use. You don't have to be a professional. When I first did my uh, screen that was about eight feet high and 10 feet across, I was a little overwhelmed thinking that I would not be able to handle using the Wagner paint sprayer, but it's a very easy paint sprayer to use, very smooth. It is beautiful, I love them. I love Wagner paint sprayers. Pretty much that's all that I use now. I am basically, it, it, it's amazing. It's an amazing um, paint sprayer. and That's why I decided to add that in uh, for our customers uh, that actually orders a two quart and one gallon um, quart one gallon, sorry, one, two quart and one gallon um, kits. All right, guys, well, I gotta go. I got a lot of work on my table to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. I try to educate you guys as much as possible on the product, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and now you can start dreaming about how and different ways you're gonna design your ultimate home theater. Thank you all.